Hi fruit lovers, my June plums have been doing really well. Well, what I did was I allowed some of the trees to fruit and some not. And look at the difference, look at the difference. This one in the has had fruit and it is really dwarfed. It's like, it looks very sickly because all that energy has gone into those fruit, that fruit there. Um, these here, no fruit, look at the same age, same, uh, same age fruit, same age trees rather. And uh, this, these are amborellas or June plums. Take the, you do this with other trees. Take the fruit off, and you will um, get a much bigger tree. Once it gets to a decent size, you can let it fruit, and then it won't have uh, sucked all the life out of them. Anyway, look, this one looks like a little funny little. Put some little eyes on this one but uh they take quite a while to ripen these june plum they stay green for a long time but people do like eating them green but i prefer letting them get to be Shit like yellow. this do you like a little apricot or a sour peach this one's quite juicy quite sweet you can't bite too far down though because it has this hairy spiky seed in the middle mm. quite refreshing a little bit tart maybe one or two for sweetness three or four for sourness Quite nice. And these ones, these uh, amp ones are actually dwarf uh, June plum anyway, so they're not going to get massive. Don't like the cold, but they're not going to die. They get a bit cold, they'll just lose their leaves and then come back again the next year. Pop, a bit like a hog plum, losing their leaves and then um, coming back in the springtime. Anyway, very attractive looking tree. But you can see the big difference in if you let something fruit and if you don't, you take the fruit off.